you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside that junk. I'm gonna get you, get you drunk, get you love drunk off my humps, my hump, my lovely lady lumps. Check it out. My Charlie Brown's crazy, Charlie with on the daily. I drink very nice, and it drives me all these ice in my Gucci and Cabana. Welcome back to our stupid rage shoots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Today we got a food video. <laughs> Foo Fighter! Oh no, that's a... Indian street food tour in Chennai. Cool. Uh, this is by the Food Ranger. We've seen many videos here. We a, have. I like this guy. He's a lovely guy. He's yep. a, seems very authentic. Yep. Uh, best food in India? Best curry, apparently. What? The, Come uh, on, you said. can't claim that from one region? Nice. Out of your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. James, I am in Chennai, India. We're going for a full-on street food tour of the city. A lot of it is unplanned. I have a few ideas. We're just going to explore, see what we can find. Check it out. Check it out. Chennai, India will blow you away as soon as you hit the street. So will Rick's mom. It's home Sorry. to a huge selection of southern Indian specialties and street foods. <laughs> You can explore the city by foot and be in constant amazement of what's around the corner. With countless delicious foods and many oh. friendly vendors to chat with, you will fall in love with India. One of the challenging parts of traveling to a new country is figuring out communication and respect with the locals. I'm just learning to do this here in India, and it's weird how I've been using this accent without even knowing. Has that ever happened to you while traveling? Yes. I yes. decided to learn Hindi when I come back next year. This is the new frontier for food ranging. And if the banana man at well, the end made you smile, so you let learn. me know below. Hello. <laughs> what is this? Milk. Yeah, so, milk, can I try it, please? Uh, how much? I, I would 10 rupees, know. okay. I would have asked the so exact So I think this question. is like milk from the cow that just gave birth. Is that birth? the stuff we ate on the beach in Mumbai? That's what I that's, hear it is. It is. That's basically oh, paneer. That's, that's what we ate and on we, the beach in, in, in some Mumbai. This is over here, too. It was baby cow milk. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's sweet. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. It's good. It's just like biting into a into a jelly almost. Mm. Um, five, please, please. Oh, okay. Is that for me? What is that? They look like little samosas. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> My first time. My first yeah. samosa. Number one. It's a, it's it's a tiny, tiny little samosa. Mmm. Mm. He doesn't care. Actually, it's just so-so. It's really oily. That batter is really thick. And the filling, there isn't much in there. So that was mediocre. We're going to keep seeing. We're going to keep exploring. The honesty. Find some good stuff. Just walking by, found a little Indian sweet shop. There's so much stuff here. I don't know what a lot of it is. So we're going to ask the server, see what we can get. Try some of those flavors. What is, what is this here? Ooh. Oh. That's the. Good. I think we've had that. Yeah, that's the <laughs> stuff that actually yogurt? we just had the other night, but without the yogurt. And Ronnie oh. mentioned it. I ordered. That she usually <laughs> eats it with a yogurt. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow. Do you know what is inside here? Chickpeas. Do you know what is inside? Curd. Curd. Vegetables. Vegetables, like uh, cauliflower maybe. Potatoes. Carrots. And carrots. And carrots. So carrots. Onion. Curd. Curd. Carrot, onion, tomatoes, cilantro, coriander, coriander, coriander and yep. some, some crisps on top. Yeah. There's so much in there, I have no idea what it's going to taste like. Looks like there's chickpeas in there. Let's try it out. That looks delicious. Mmm! It tastes like, it's very sweet, tastes a little fruity, and spicy at the same time. Like a little bit of a curry powder flavor. Yeah, chickpeas. And after that amazing oh. sour and sweet chenna masala with yogurt, I found a man cooking up fresh tomato chutney on the street with an assortment of snacks to dip it in. So this is a this is a fresh chutney that he's making. Can I try one of these? Can I try one? Oh, thank you. And uh, chutney. Can I try chutney? Uh, we're gonna get fresh chutney on it. Fresh from the walk. Thank you very much. Oh, so take a look at this. This is like a deep fried, looks like it's deep fried onions with some greens. Oh, wow. And I've got some fresh chutney here. Dip it right into that chutney. I've never tried this before. This is gonna be fun. That's gonna be hot. Mmm. 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 
Oh, it's actually really nice. It tastes like deep fried dough, yet crispy on the outside. And the onions are a little sweet. They've got that caramelized flavor with the tomato chutney. Soon after I made my really way to a world famous biryani and curry house in Chennai, Talapakati. I am so excited right now because I am at a special biryani joint here in Chennai, and this is the day I've been looking forward to for the last 28 years. True, authentic Indian cuisine in Chennai. Let's go try it out. <laughs> oh, this is oh, like the best. That bread day. looks amazing. Get some rice. Oh, that smell. Oh, oh, oh. it's steaming. Oh, that, I can smell is that it. that mutton? Sure oh. looks like it. Yes. Oh, mutton chop. Oh, mutton chop. Thank you. Right on the banana leaf. So I have a full on oh, Southern Indian feast, feast here. I have a mutton stew right on the bone. Oh, and there's one more. There's one more. And prawn masala. Prawn masala. I, I'm honestly speechless. I don't know where to begin. Lamb brain omelet, like full of curry leaves. See those curry leaves in there? That looks good. Mmm. Tastes just like an omelet with lots of black pepper. And the brain is really, really smooth. It's not gross. This year is a chicken <laughs> chetina. The smell is just driving my mouth crazy. It's watering. This is a staple food. This is the mutton biryani. And that smell. I can smell cloves. I can smell cinnamon. Cardamom. Oh, there's star anise in Get there. that bread. Get there a handful of uh, chicken uh, chicken. Uh, oh, oh, it's so, so hot. It's so good. So far? This is the meal that's made me realize South Indian food is the pinnacle of my lifelong food range and journey. <laughs> spice pack mutton biryani rice, thick and spicy curries, fall off the bone mutton, and soft parota bread eaten by hand left me in another world and in a state of bliss. Mm. That's so good. And just by exploring the street, you'll find countless snacks and meals at stalls frequented by hungry and busy locals. So I'm at a local neighborhood here in Chennai, and one of the things I really want to try here is a puri, which is like a local Indian crisp. And they serve it with a chutney or a curry. One puri, please. Yes, please. Puri is a famous snack in India, usually accompanied by light curry or dal. And here, they gave me two extra puri for free. Uh, chickpea curry. Tomato chutney. Tomato chutney. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the this is the puree. I'm gonna get it right. I'm just gonna get it right into that tomato chutney. Oh, it's oh, it's soft. Mmm. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. I like that tomato chutney. It's slightly slightly spicy. But it kind of it kind of tastes like a vegetable stew with a little bit of spice. Canada. Mm. I thought so. Chennai food is very good. <laughs> South Indian food. It's very nice. Tried in Delhi. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. My yeah. first time. <laughs> my... Trevor. And you? Nice to meet you. Listen. Yeah, come for for food. I love I love the food here. Next, I stumbled on a delicious masala spice tea stall and made friends with a rickshaw driver and a fruit seller. I found the locals in India so friendly. Good, thank you. Where is your native place? Canada. 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 I come to Chennai to eat. Can I try uh, one uh, one masala tea, please? One masala tea, one other, yeah. Oh, we thank daily. you. We so we got the fresh masala tea. We put masala right powder in the tea. Might be a chai stand out there. Masala mix it, mixing into the tea. Oh, my first time. I've never tried masala tea before. <laughs> the oh, guy behind nice. him. Very nice. Very nice. It tastes like a little spice in there. A little bit. Ah. It tastes like a milk tea with a, just a touch of spice. I am auto, auto man. Oh, you're auto man? Yeah, my auto. Oh. <laughs> I hear the accent that you're putting on. 
Oh, banana. Oh, banana. Oh, okay. Ten rupee, one banana. Uh, one plantain. One, one banana. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. I feel like you're getting ripped off. Yeah, you do. Thank you. <laughs> banana and tea. Thank you for creaming me. Welcome. Ah, good food here. Good food. Good food. Put down. Nala put down. Nala put down. Nala put down. Yeah, very, very nice. Yeah. Masala tea. Masala tea. Masala tea. Thank you. Hey. What do you got in the tea there, guys? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I love having a wonderful time here in Chennai. Thank you so much for watching my food and travel videos. Please leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is an awesome city. I'm, going, I'm moving on to Hyderabad next, and we're going to try a lot more food. Hyderabad. Thanks again. Yeah, Please Hyderabad. Please. Hyderabad. I like him. I do too. He's, I he's love his, his genuineness. Seems like a very genuine, like he's yeah. genuinely, like you said, it gets me something like you. It reminds me of Nathan Carnes. Right yeah, a lot. Like, a lot. Like, everything's so passionate about it. And it's, I love, you know, it's great to have somebody like, say, Gordon Ramsay going through and talking about all the nuances of the expertise because the man just knows everything about food. What I love about him, he just, like, all of his responses, everything he tastes, it's one of two things. It's either very nice or just, mmm, mmm. It tastes fruity and a little spicy. Yeah. And it, I love that he just doesn't have yes. any other way to communicate his experience is just the joy yeah, on his face. He was really great. Yeah. Uh, food looked incredible. Incredible. I can't wait to try South Indian food in South India. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a concept. <sighs> uh, but yeah, I totally, I, I heard he said he was getting a, an accent. It always happens, especially because obviously we both can do different voices, different accents, so it kind of just slips in. The thing I noticed when we were in India, obviously I noticed it too, I did the head nod. Yeah, it's it just kind of hard of naturally, it now. just kind of naturally happened. Yep. And I, I said, uh, I, I think, ha, no, was, I know Bengali says, hey, I know hey, you said that, yes. but like Indians say like, what is it? Huh. 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 I said that a lot. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I regularly, it really huh. makes, it makes, our, <laughs> our, when we're ever with our landlady, she loves that my natural responses right now, just interactively with Indrani are, instead yeah. of saying yes about something, it's, huh. And I, the three, th the, huh, that, and I will regularly, especially if I'm surprised by something, she may do something that I'm like, like, what the heck? And I'll go, this is a constant Yeah, I do now. this a lot. Too. Yeah, constant. Um, which is crazy, because in like the South where you grow up, if you say, like, if you can't hear your mom or something, and you say, huh? That's an insult. That's an insult to me. <laughs> <laughs> you will get in trouble if you say, huh? And they'll be like, excuse me? You know, it also, it's really funny culturally, because Indrani did this all the time. She still would if she's at home, and it's a Bengali thing. She'll be on the phone with me when she was back there in, in Kolkata, and she'd call for her mom, which is Ma in Bengali. It's Ma. But when she called for her, she'd say, hold on one second. Ma! Oh, you don't yell. You don't yell at your mom. Three times. Then her mom would come in. Yeah. Standard. It's, it's crazy how different cultures are. Yeah. Because, like, if, if you yell from another room. Oh, no. <laughs> it, this is, oh, I'm talking like South America. Exactly. Not South America. South, South, South in United America. States. In the United States. Uh, in that culture, you just, you, if you if you want your mom, you will go get your mother. And you will not yell at your mother no. to come get you. No. Ever. Ever. It is a cardinal sin. Very uh, bad. Very, very. Which is funny. But you're like, if you went, huh? No. You get, a, you get like smacked across the face. If you ever go, huh? Or yeah. what? Yeah. <laughs> but it's true. And it's it, what that, that comes from a person who's empathetic and who is naturally inclined toward wanting to, uh, it's called mirroring in the public speaking world, and it's yeah. actually something you do to make the people feel more comfortable. It's, it's not done as mocking in any way. Yeah. So if you, ever catch, if you ever catch anybody who isn't Indian in India, who's suddenly picking up those things, it, it truly is a sense of endearment that yeah. they've picked up an affinity for you. Yeah, I oh, do want some of that chai. I don't know if you saw my post. I, uh, I don't know if I did. Enjoyed, because yeah. Johnny ever had him? No, so I didn't show it to her. When I looked at it, she was asleep. And Apparently. I saw there were a lot of comments saying, Apparently yeah. People say, that, like, if you're in a fair hurry, it's kind of like a, a K-cup. Right. Essentially. Yeah. Obviously, we, nothing beats the real thing. No, but like, if that's you're what pinch, we do. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. We either, we either make it, like, either just standard with the tea leaves and then a little milk and sugar, or we'll add the ginger and cardamom, but that's it. We don't, if, if we're not making it ourselves... And we, like I said, we were at Griffith Observatory. We are daily in places thinking, 
you know, we see street vendors all the time here because that's a big thing for a lot of the Mexican folks here in LA is they set up fruit stands, there's food trucks. Street food's actually a pretty common thing in LA, but it just takes a different form. I'm telling you, if, 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 if they might people have in America down, they might have tasted a, it, I think it could become a big thing here. They might have it down in um, Little <sighs> India here. Uh, that's true. They, they might. might have it down there. They might, but it should be everywhere. Street chai. Anyways, great video. Let us know what other food videos we can react to and... What other food should we try? Maybe we should do a new food. Bit. It's just hard because you can't find a lot outside of North Indian food here. You can't yeah. find a lot of... I, I thought of a street food thing. Have we ever done an awesome street food thing? If we have, I'm not remembering it. I don't think so. Yeah, you guys yeah. can let us know. If there's know. different regions of street food that we haven't seen, yeah. please send them to us. Gotta be. They always make me hungry. Yep. Let us know. Down below.